Today's lesson is about author's purpose. Our learning objective is I can identify the author's purpose for writing a text. Author's purpose is why the author wrote the text or the reason for writing a text. We are going to use a helpful acronym so that identifying the author's purpose is as easy as pie. Pi is spelled P-I-E. P is for persuade. I is for inform. And E is for entertain. P-I-E. Let's start with persuade. When the author's purpose is to persuade, it means that the author is trying to get the reader to do or believe something. Here are some examples. Commercials and advertisements try to get you to buy products. Reviews for restaurants, movies, and books persuade you to go to certain places or watch and read specific books and movies. Billboards, opinions, and books can also be examples of authors persuading you to do or believe something. Authors also write to inform. This means that the author is giving the reader information or teaching facts. Documentaries and nonfiction TV can inform viewers about a topic. Recipes or how-to books, biographies, newspapers and magazines, nonfiction books about specific topics, these are all examples in which the author's purpose is to inform. Now we are at E for entertain. This means that the author wants the reader to enjoy the story. Examples include stories, riddles and jokes, movies and TV shows, fantasy and magical stories, fiction books, mysteries, and comics. Let's review. The author's purpose is their reason for writing or creating a text. The purpose can be to persuade and get the reader to do or believe something. It can be to inform and teach about a topic, or the purpose can be to entertain the reader with a story. If you forget, just think about pie. P-I-E. Persuade, inform, entertain. Thanks for watching.